So with the release of iOS 14, users can finally customize their home screens with these amazing, cool, dope widgets. All right, so this is it. And right away, if you wanna add a widget, you tap on hold on the empty space, and then it's gonna put it into jiggle mode, and you gotta tap on the plus icon on the top left corner. And you tap on the plus, and whatever app that supports it, you're gonna be able to add that widget. So let's just get right into the widgets. The first widget I have installed is called Pedometer, and it's gonna calculate your steps throughout the day. I have the same exact complication on my Apple Watch, having it on my home screen and seeing it in real time. That's definitely a nice upgrade right there. Um, right next to it, I have something called Color Widgets. This is a very essential widget because you could be able to see the time, you can see the day, and you can see the battery percentage. So you have a dark mode, colored, light mode there. Um, which the light mode is classic iOS stuff, but I like it colored and you can change the fonts here on the bottom And you can change the background and boom right there. You guys see that wallpaper. I might actually apply that I'm gonna keep that actually And when you tap on add boom is right there underneath that on the left. We have carrot This is the best web uh, app in my opinion because it gives you these quotes underneath it You can have so many elements like that's the beauty thing about all these widgets here and right next to it I have news break that's basically gonna give you the local news or even the top trending news so yeah so it's always gonna be updated um, the photo widget you can add a photo so how Apple cycling through your camera roll which can be embarrassing sometimes when you tap on it you can customize you can add more photos so photo widget very self-explanatory this is gonna be a photo, it's a photo widget. Now the only thing with the widgets, I wish you could be able to hide the icon labels or the widget labels, because sometimes it takes away from the aesthetic of your home screen, seeing just the name of the application and then you see it twice sometimes. I just wish Apple could give us the option to remove that. So underneath that I have motivation, so this is gonna give me some motivation quotes throughout the day. Sometimes we, we stay in at home, we, we feeling like, you know depressed so having some kind of motivation throughout the day it definitely does help that little bit helps now unfortunately you cannot customize it because that's behind a paywall you're gonna have to unlock it you're gonna have to watch an ad you know we're gonna watch an ad we're gonna watch this ad you gotta have patience when you customize in your iPhone so that pretty much goes to any theme and then when you get out of it there you go so yeah a little tedious but hey if you really want that theme you gotta do what you gotta do and the next page, I have Spark. This is a mail client. So since Gmail isn't supported just yet, which by the way, we're gonna see more widgets um, throughout the days. This is very new, but I'm definitely gonna be making a follow-up video actually showing you guys my setup, my updated setup. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys wanna see that. But Spark is a mail client, and I think that's the best mail client in my opinion. Underneath that, I got the Google, so I can search Google very quickly. Now, Widgetsmith is another application to customize your home screen. You can add small widgets, medium widgets, you can even add photos, you have the calendar, but you can really like customize it to its full potential here. So you can add in blanks, you can add in a custom text, which is very handy. You have all your calendars, and of course you can change the colors. You have the moon phrase, you have the sunrise, sunset, you have all this stuff. But honestly, I would use this for blanks. You wanna make sure it's a black wallpaper or have the exact same color as provided here. It would've been nice if this app had a color wheel or a hex code. That would've been nice so you can get the exact color that you want. You guys remember the days we had to create blanks icon? Like, that was annoying. Back in iOS 6. Oh, I see City Mapper just updated their app. That's interesting, right there on video. All right, and there goes Widgetsmith. And I'm gonna use the small one. And then we're gonna have to tap on that and we have to select that one that you just created. And now you have the blank. So yeah, so that's just a blank. But yet again, you have that label underneath it. So it kind of gives it away. But yeah, so many tools, so many options that you have here. If you haven't updated to iOS 14, what are you waiting for? Yes, it's a little buggy, but hey, having widgets on your home screen is really worth it. Bah, there you go. You see that? That's Widgetsmith. I have this little game here that I could play right here. I wish it was on the actual lock screen here, but unfortunately, it's not present. Just having all these lock screen widgets and everything adds another layer of customization. And what a time to be alive. Everybody's iPhone is now gonna be different thanks to these widgets. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, 
I have the classic YouTube icon on iOS right now. And man, this, this is bringing me back in time. Um, kids today don't even understand. But if I tap on that classic icon, it's gonna launch your YouTube app. And I'm gonna show you guys how to customize your app icons. So it's very easy. You gotta make sure you have your shortcuts. Um, I made a video talking about this the other day. And you wanna tap on the plus on the top right corner. And you wanna tap on add action. And then you wanna search up open app. Once you tap on that, you tap on shoes. So it's right next to the open. And then you gotta tap on the app that you would like to open up. So in this case, I'm gonna tap, um, I'm gonna search up Instagram. Okay, so now it's gonna open up the Instagram app and you wanna tap on the three dots, right? And then you gotta, you know, name a shortcut. So I'm gonna name this Instagram. You gotta tap on add to home screen. And then right here, I'm gonna name this Instagram again. Why not? This is gonna actually be on your home screen this time and then you wanna tap on the icon. Now tapping on that icon allows you to set any photo as that icon. So I'm gonna search up the web for, and all you gotta do is just search up any icon you like on Google. In this case, I'm just gonna have the classic Instagram icon. And make sure you search up for a PMG file because it's gonna have a transparency there so it's gonna look a little bit more cleaner. It's not required, but it is recommended. I'm gonna add that to my photos. I'm gonna go back. And then we're gonna tap on the icon and we're gonna tap on choose photo. So now from here, we can just tap on any icon we like. So in this case, Instagram. And there, voila, the Instagram application. We're gonna tap on add and then boom, add it to home screen. So right next to the classic YouTube icon, we have the classic Instagram icon. And of course, if I tap on it, it's a slight little delay because it's basically a shortcut. So it's gonna activate that shortcut and then launch up the Instagram application. And shout out to the homie Siobhan. Let me see what he's saying. I was just, I just had the chicken sandwich yesterday. That's crazy. That's a record, 100K. So shout out to the homie Siobhan, yo. Doing big numbers, yo. Like, that's insane. But yeah, that's how people are able to customize the icons and the creativity level is just through the roof. Things to keep in mind of, iOS 14 is still a bit buggy, so you might customize some things and it's still like, it might freak out and just reset all your icons back to the, like it can get a little annoying sometimes. And keep in mind, there's gonna be more widgets throughout time, so I'm definitely gonna be making more videos talking about iOS 14 widgets. So yeah, that basically concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and comment down below what you guys think. All right, guys, until next time, have a simple day.